Hey everybody, I am going to be doing a short little video on the IOD molds. I get asked all the time what paper clay I like to use uh, and you know the tips and tricks on how to use them. So I get this either at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, I'm guessing you could get it at Joann's. Alright, so I'm going to use one of the newer, newer ones that I have and I am going to show you a little trick. I cannot recall who said this but you could take a little bit of um, cornstarch or in this case I'm using a little bit of baby powder just because I have this tool and this helps the clay not to stick as much I got a little bit of the clay out I'm just going to work it in my hands a little bit and I think I might need a little bit more And with the long ones, I just roll it out. To basically the length of what it is. And then I start smushing it in there. Just like this. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking a lot of the excess off and I'm not too worried if like here I kind of got a little bit too much off but because there's so much extra I'm not that worried at this point so again I'm just gonna continue to take some off trying to make it a little bit flatter and then if I feel there's too much I'll just scrape a little bit off and I'm not too worried about it being perfect either. Lightly kind of rubbing my finger over it and pushing it towards, you know, where the clay is from the edges, if that makes sense, so that I can get that nice shape. All right, so now I'm going to carefully take this out of the mold. And because this is a little bit more intricate, I'm going to be pretty careful so what I do is I push on the back and sort of separate it from the clay. Some people say to wait and it helps. I've tried and I felt it made it worse to try to get them out. Um, so that's why I don't. So I'm just carefully, you know, just separating it a little bit. And, and this is why I like to do a, a lot of them at a time because they do take a little bit of time, you know, and so I, when I'm creating, I like to just grab and glue down and so I think it's, I think it's pretty good. So. I am going to, I love these molds. See, look, I'm bending it back and I'm just gonna carefully grab that edge and I'm carefully trying to get it out. This is gonna be a little bit tricky on this edge here because it's so intricate. Awesome. Beautiful. Hopefully you guys can see the detail. Super pretty. Basically that's all there is to it. Yeah. So I hope this video helped out in some way. All right, I did forget to say that when you are done with your clay and if you have leftovers, you wanna get a uh, plastic bag. And what I like to do is I like to wrap the opening with a wet paper towel and then just stick it in the bag 
to where it's on the bottom part so it kind of helps it stay a little bit more moist and you should be good to go if if you know if it's been a couple weeks you might want to check it and make sure that the top is still moist because as the clay dries it's going to um like if the top is getting a little bit dry then it will make the whole thing go dry quicker so you want to make sure that um, it's staying moist on the top and yeah so that's my last little tip if you have any other questions please feel free to leave them down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below even if you don't have a question. You know I love reading your comments. Uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. And let's see, uh, if you did like this video, share it on social media with your friends. And I think that is it for today. I will catch you guys later. Bye.